Ruth, thank you so much for being willing to share with us today. Due to your health, uh, you've had to spend significant time indoors in the past years. And so I thought it would be encouraging and helpful for us to hear about from you how God has used that time to grow you and your relationship with him. I found the widespread bushfires quite frightening. Then the coronavirus swept around the world and Australians were infected. The radio and TV comments added to the stress. Then I withdrew myself and prayed and read my Bible. I reminded myself our Lord is our creator and he loves us and longs for us to turn to him. Most importantly, he is in charge and he knows the outcome. Then I was able to pray, to be at peace and face each day, thanking him for his spirit to get me through. I prayed for our missionaries, both here and overseas, who are in far more frightening situations. They appear to be relying on God each day too. We face isolation differently. I like to plan my days and to seek and to honour God. Um, I found my emails, Facebook and friends, particularly June Bock, keep sending emails. And I found that John Piper's Desiring God sermons were so helpful over the years and now. The Tear Fund, too, had a great Easter series for six weeks with Bible passages and prayers and many great Facebook reminders of uh, texts, um, reminders of our loving God. This has helped me to trust God and to grow in my knowledge of Him. I have an understanding of God's love and mercy and ask daily for His Spirit to guide me. With God's help only, I am at peace within myself. During the bushfires, I could not go outside and I was unwell. But with the coronavirus, I can't leave my home. However, I am able to work in my garden and be happy around the house and knowing that I can go outside, even though I can't see people. Um, so for a short time each day, I'm in the garden and I go for walks. However, I'm enjoying his creation, the birds and the warm sunshine. I like to ring my friends and we encourage each other and praise God, his spirit with us. I take one day at a time and try not to look ahead to the future. And I praise him for his love and peace to get me through. Well, thank you very much, Ruth. We really appreciate you sharing with us.